Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 2, Episode 94. This is NXT, and we are just six shows away from NXT TakeOver 100, and we're going to go down that path starting tonight. Tom Phillips, Nigel McGinnis, and Steve Crittle welcome us to NXT from the New Jersey Jade Wynn Gymnasium in front of 6,135 people. Tom Phillips says that tonight on NXT, we're going to have one hell of a show. The camera stands on them for a while as we fade to ringside. So we're going to open up with a match here tonight, which will be No Way Jose against a local jobber uh, returning to action. We'll have to have Jose and uh, another wrestler have two jobber matches tonight. All right. And a terrible match, though. No Way Jose defeats Ryan Davidson in 453 at pinfall with a sit-down crucifix powerbomb. They didn't click. 53, but only a 10 for Davidson. Um, this was probably the worst match I've ever gotten here on NXT. Ryan Davidson, I am going to lose your number, sir. This is a 31 E plus though, and No Way Jose with the squash victory here tonight. All right, next up, a clip plays reminding us that tonight it's Alistair Black versus Hideo Itami in the main event, with the winner taking on Roderick Strong for the NXT Junior Heavyweight Championship at NXT Takeover 100. So we've started the 100 100 uh, NXT Junior Heavyweight Program, and of course, uh, last <laughs> last show we had a really strong NXT, but I unfortunately forgot to put in those new storylines heading into 100. And we really fucked up our rating. But that's all right. We've got it settled this time around. 85 for Alistair and Hideo Tommy hype tonight. Yes, we're going to continue. All right. And the next match, TM61 defeats Blake and Murphy in nine minutes when Nick Miller defeats Blake Murphy with a Thunder Valley. TM61 advances in, uh, to the NXT United States Tag Team match. Will it be a qualifying match? Will it be at the pay-per-view takeover special 100? I'm not sure yet, but they have advanced in the United States qualm of things. Bill the Sky did some good ring at work. Some ringside. TM61, 65, 65, Murphy, about 50s. Um, obviously, Nick Miller and Shane Thorne have gotten hurt in back-to-back, -back, uh, you know, ways, just like in real life. And they've really been off and on TV, unfortunately. But hopefully they can stay healthy for a while because they're a really good babyface team. Obviously not as over as the Revival or... Uh, DIY on the face side, but they're a really strong member of the roster, and we could really use them in a, I mean, maybe push them towards the NXT United States Tag Team titles. I'm not quite sure. You guys can let me know what you think would be a good idea for TM61 in the comments, but, uh, you know, a as it goes, I'm really just, AOP is a heel team. They've had the titles for so long, over 18 months, so maybe TM61 can get a push on the face side. All right here, 59C, though. No skill improvements. Next, the camera finds Drew McIntyre in the back, minding his own business when Sanity walks up on him. Eric Young asks Drew how it feels to lose in the main event of TakeOver Brooklyn 4, to which Drew responds, Thanks, Eric. It was great to be on the card. This gets a chuckle from the fans. Drew McIntyre asks Sanity what they want, and Eric Young goes off on a tangent about how thing, the thing he wants the most in the world is absolution and a cleansing of NXT. Drew says he has no idea what he's talking about, which gets another laugh, to which Eric Young responds that Drew is now on his nerves. Eric Young proceeds to challenge Drew McIntyre to a match later tonight, in which Drew gladly accepts. Sanity slowly backs away, leaving Drew to his own devices after a very intense meeting. So the 100 Drew Sanity storyline has advanced. We're going to be booking towards the Drew McIntyre, Eric Young program, heading into 100. It's a small program I can do between these two guys I haven't done before without giving away too many more of my big matches, but it should be a nice match. They're both veterans and both uh, have very solid ratings, so it should be a fun little program with Sanity and uh, Drew McIntyre. 73 B-. minus. All right, next up, we're getting noticed that Lars Sullivan makes his NXT debut tonight. Unfortunately, his initial rating got a below average. Sullivan's a character on NXT TV I really like right now, and I thought he'd be a fun addition to the universe that we have going here. 60C. Next up, in a decent match, Nikki Cross defeats Candice LeRae in nine minutes with the perfect storm. So Nikki Cross getting a victory here on NXT TV this week. Really just keep it in the fray. Keep it in the forefront of your minds. She might be giving you a boost in the near future. So 55C-. minus, No scale improvements coming on. 49 and 55. So a very solid woman-based match that I didn't use eye candy for. So I'm happy with it. 55C-. minus. The Street Profits are coming soon. 
Obviously, Angelo Dawkins face turn. Who still remembers recent turn? I didn't turn him. Um, I don't know why the game doesn't think that. But a 56 C minus Dawkins and Ford hyping their debut pretty soon. We're going to keep going. We're not going to turn him. Next up, the fans cheer as William Regal is shown on screen. Then they cheer again as Sami Zayn and DIY. Gargano and Chapa walk up on the screen as House NXT. The three shake Regal's hand and he thanks them for joining him. William Regal congratulates all three members of House NXT for their victories in Brooklyn and the three nod. Regal says that NXT TakeOver 100, we will be celebrating NXT, which is why he made the biggest possible match you could imagine for the NXT Heavyweight Tag Team Championships when you, DIY, will face the Revival, the fans cheer, and the Authors of Pain for the championships. The fans boo, though, at the Authors of Pain's name. Sami Zayn says that's all well and good, and he apologized for overstepping on his, on his buddies. But what about him, says uh, Sami Zayn. What about Sami Zayn? What about the man who rid NXT of the elite? Regal smirks and says, I didn't forget about you. And says that 100, it'll be a celebration of what NXT does best. Wrestle. So you, Sami Zayn, at NXT TakeOver 100, will go one-on-one -on -one with the former NXT heavyweight champion, Andrade Cien Almas. The fans gasp as another huge match is made. So, yeah, I mean, look at DIY really pushing up for it as well. No skill improvements, but we're booking uh, towards Sami Zayn and Andretti San Almas. And obviously, we have DIY Revival and Authors of Pain. Two super strong matches for NXT TakeOver 100. 83B+. Next up, in a rematch from NXT TakeOver Brooklyn's pre-show, the Velveteen Dream defeats Leo Rush and 11-29 with a power line. 48D+. In this match... 52 for Dream, 43 for Rush. The Dream is actually on my top prospects list. The fan, uh, well, the game thinks he's going to be great. Hopefully he does. 48D+. Plus. No skill improvements to comment on here, but a nice victory for the Velveteen Dream, keeping him in our minds. And really, Velveteen Dream, uh, heading into Brooklyn, take over, uh, take over 100. I'm not sure if he's going to be on the card. Probably not, but he's going to be a big focus on NXT in the next couple of years. So keep an eye on him. 48D+. Plus. All right, next up, we get a recap, a video recap of Carmella returning to NXT with Bayley being more than thrilled to see her. We see Bayley being hurt and Carmella consoling her when Sasha was looking for her and wanting to do that. We then get a recap of Sasha taking the loss based on accidental interference by Carmella last week and Bayley checking on making sure Carmella knew she didn't, act. well, excuse me, let me read that. We then get a recap of Sasha Banks taking the loss last week based on accidental interference by Carmella. And instead of checking on Sasha, Bailey checked and made sure Carmella knew she was not her fault in an accident rather than making sure Sasha was okay after taking the loss. Sasha is getting jealous and it's showing. So Bailey and Sasha coming across well. Bailey and Carmella, excuse me, 63C for the NXT ladies. Next up, we see William Regal again, though, in the back this time with the Elwing Dynasty. Rachel Elwing, the NXT Women's Intercontinental Champion, Ruby Riot, and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, A Common Razor, the Author of the Pain, the fans boo. Then in walks the revival, Dash and Dawson, in which they cheer. William Regal says that he spoke with Johnny and Tommaso earlier and reminded them that a huge match at NXT TakeOver is allowed and all three nod. You can cut the tension with a knife. William Regal then says, in two weeks' time, Ruby, you will team with your brothers, the Authors of Pain, in a three-on-three-on-three -on -three -on -three mixed tag team main event here on NXT TV. The fans cheer. You will be taking on the Revival and a female partner of their choosing, and DIY and a female partner of their choosing. Rachel Elring just stares at William Regal, looks away, leaving as the Elming Dynasty follows. Dash and Dawson, however, walk up and shake William Regal's hand, anxious at the opportunity to again prove themselves. Another huge match in two weeks. Regal was a star. That's great. 83B plus here. That should be fun uh, with with, Ray, with Ruby Riot and the Authors of Pain, as well as Dash and Austin and their partner and uh, DIY's partner, which we'll announce next week. So 83B plus. And another terrible match. Lars Sullivan defeats a local jobber Marty Gold in three minutes with a spear. Um, I, I do not want him doing that move, but he gets the victory. 39, 31 for Sullivan. Sullivan's still green, but he's really good in brawl, brawling base uh, wrestling. 30E plus Sullivan with a big win tonight here on his NXT debut. This basically shows me I probably should go a little bit slower with Sullivan in the future. Next up, Mr. NXT's music hits as Mr. and the Misses of NXT hit the ramp and make their way down the ramp, holding on to the NXT Heavyweight Championship on the Misses' shoulder. The duo enters the ring and are given a microphone immediately. Mr. NXT congratulations, Bo congratulates Bobby Roode on becoming the number one contender for his, Mr. NXT's, NXT Heavyweight Championship. Mr. NXT reminds Bobby that it was him who took the championship on the opening evening of Season 2, and it's him who at NXT Digger 100 will he will be looking up at again from his back. Mrs. NXT laughs as the fans boo. 
Mr. NXT says that he's worked too long and too hard to care about who's challenging him for the NXT Heavyweight Championship because the fact of the matter is no matter who challenges him, the outcome will remain the same. No matter what the stipulation is, the outcome will be the same. No matter what the outcome no matter what the outcome is, the outcome will be the same. In six weeks at NXT TakeOver 100, says Mr. NXT, Mr. NXT, yours truly, is leaving still the NXT Heavyweight Championship. So here we go. The angle got the crowd interested again. Um, after the, I guess, <laughs> poor segment earlier, Mr. NXT improvised well throughout. That's great. And the Heavyweight Championship program did great. Uh, Mrs. NXT is improving in her performance skills. The next segment is reminding us that per commission of William Regal's office, not this week, but next week on NXT, we're going to see that match between Drew as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Eric Young of Sanity. All right, a pair of 80s leading into the main event. Let's see what we got between Black and Hideo. Hopefully a 75. 69, that's not great. And about that, had great wrestling and good heat. Aleister Black drew with Hideo Tommy in 23.09 following a countout. This match got the crowd buzzing. Hideo Itami foreshadowed a hill turn, 71 and 75. I'll take it, not bad. The junior heavyweight program has advanced but lost heat. So 69 to end the show here tonight on NXT. We have no clear-cut, definitive number one contender for Roderick Strong. We'll have to get to that next week, obviously. A 69 C plus though between Black and Hideo Itami. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's not bad, so I'll take it. We're going to go ahead and end the show and see what we got. Hopefully a 73. We got a 72, B minus. We've increased our popularity in 34 regions. I'll take it. This was NXT The Game Season 2, Episode 94, NXT TV. Now we just have six or five more events of NXT TV before NXT TakeOver 100. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back in a couple days with NXT Episode 95. Have a glorious rest of your evening.